you guys have been playing Black Ops 3 lately, what you just witnessed is something that has been going on way too often in this game. What's going on guys, Great Disciple back with another video. In the background, let me talk about this gameplay just a little bit, alright? It's a hardcore kill confirmed game on Outlaw. I'm just going for those those wins, you know, for the weekly contract you gotta get 20 wins and uh, I was doing free for all but the lobbies were kind of sparse so I thought, you know what, let's go into kill confirm, let's see what happens. Now, at the time of this video, I'm ranked 88 in the world all time in kill confirmed in Black Ops 3, alright? And the lobby, I mean if you check the lobby leaderboard you're gonna see my stats. And, you know, obviously it gets people thinking, but if you watch the beginning of this game, I don't really do anything amazing. Until about, let's say, two to three minutes into the game, I hit my streak. And it's just a matter of time before I hit my streak in the game, alright? And watch what happens as soon as I hit my streak. People start leaving. One guy, then another guy, then another guy, and then game over. Connection interrupted. And then this happens, just like in the beginning, I run off the map and I, I just kind of go exploring. I've done this on Breach, Aquarium, Nuketown, Berserk. You guys, if it ever happens to you, the first thing I suggest is run off the map and keep running because it's pretty crazy. And if you got an Elgato, record it because it's hilarious. The coolest one was I ran off the map in Micro and you're able to run underneath the table. I mean, Treyarch, <laughs> they really went all out on some of the backgrounds of these games. Breach is pretty cool because you can run in between the buildings, all right? So just a thought to make the game fun. And I don't know what's happened. It seems like... Activision has taken over all the dedicated servers to prepare them for Modern Warfare Remastered and for Infinite Warfare the beta and so Black Ops 3 is back to that whole player v player where you're connecting to another player's connection and when the things aren't going well see you later. It happens all the time in Ground War. Oh it's so frustrating I can't even play that anymore. But I digress. If you guys have been living under a rock you probably noticed my channel exploded yesterday. And it was out of nowhere. Thunder, 402 Thunder, the great man that he is, decided to take one of my videos and upload it to his main channel. And I cannot believe what happened. Now, for all you new subscribers, let me give you an idea of what I've gone through. I started my YouTube channel on November 12th of last year. So I haven't even been at this for a year. In that time frame, I gained 2,506 subscribers, a little over 186,000 views, and that is from 419 uploads. Pretty crazy, right? At the time of this recording, which I'm doing this at night, Thunder uploading that video on his channel, I gained over a thousand subscribers and the number is still climbing. That is amazing to a small YouTuber. I mean, a good day for me over the last year is to gain seven subscribers in a day. When Thunder uploaded that video, I was gaining almost three to five subscribers a minute. Overwhelming. I'm so shocked. And I know there's so many new guys to my channel. And if y'all have taken any time at all, you've probably looked around and you've seen that I do a lot of different stuff. So let, let me just, let me talk about what I do a little bit before I lose your attention and you take off to the next video, all right? I do just about everything. I do live streams, if you guys like that, and they do upload to my channel if you aren't there to catch them. They're usually about an hour and a half to two hours long, so if you like that kind of thing, a lot of people watch them while they work. I do. I watch other guys. I, I watch iTemp for a year doing his live streams. And then uh, I do live comms, where I just record a game and then I upload it live and you guys can hear me talking about the game. I love doing montages and clip-tages, and if you guys like those fast streaks and crazy streaks, there's a playlist down below that you can check out. You're gonna find some other playlists that I do as well. I mean, you're gonna see some ones on, on YouTube drama, because I do videos like that every now and then. Not so much, but every now and then. I have a playlist on moral depravity. <laughs> a little deep, I know. A playlist on my faith, because I am a Christian. And I do talk about that pretty regularly. Um, let's see. I put all my live game plays in a playlist as well, if you guys want to look at that. You'll see one on pornography addiction. It was a subject that one of my subscribers brought up way back before I had 500 subscribers. And I started this little series, and it... It did pretty well. I think I have somewhere around 10 videos in it. It'll teach you some stuff about it. It's a pretty shocking subject. 
but just to kind of prepare you guys I do a little bit of everything topical commentaries gameplay commentaries live commentaries I have two ongoing series on my channels that are coming up and you guys will see these just to kind of give you a heads up about what I do on Sundays you know a lot of channels would do like shout out series some channels do spiritual Sunday series I do a series called church for gamers where I actually talk about the Bible so if that's something you're interested in check it out if it's not don't worry about it you can ignore the video click off of it whatever you don't have to unsubscribe me because of it though all right and then on Monday I do a series called Gray's Mail which was modeled after Woody's gamer tag if you guys ever watched him he did that series called Monday Mail or Mayo Monday one of the best series ever on YouTube I wish he would have never stopped it but it's a great series oh wait I actually I don't know if he still does it or not but um I kind of modeled after that because I get a lot of questions from subscribers based on how open I am in the comment section. So I started a series where I answer subscribers' questions. So if you have so if you have questions, just put them in those videos and I answer them. And that's one thing that I'm known for. And I got a lot of people who said things to me in Thunder's video. They were shocked that I put comments on comments. Um, on Thunder's video. It's kind of what I do. I, I enjoy bantering back and forth with people. I mean, the, the whole reason why I started doing YouTube was to help people out, not just to help you get good at the game, which I can help you get good at the game if that's something you're interested in. I have a whole playlist devoted just to that, getting better at Call of Duty, but it's not just about that. For me, it's something more than that. Helping you guys out in life, relationships, you know, family issues, work-related issues, faith issues, politics. I'll talk about pretty much anything, and if you go through my channel at any length, you'll see that I've probably covered a topic that's on your mind right now. So, it's a little bit different than what you guys are probably accustomed to, but hey, you know, I'm extremely thankful to Thunder that you guys came over. I hope you enjoy the content. Go through the videos, watch them. If you have questions, just ask them. I'll do my best to reply back to all of you guys. I'm pretty open about everything, and... I got to know. You got to put it down below. <laughs> Does this ever happen to you? You see you see what happened in that outlaw match, all right? Do y'all ever try to run off the map? Because it, it is pretty awesome when you do. And this supply drop opening, it wasn't bad. This was actually the first supply drop opening I've done in a really long time. I was spending my crypto keys unlocking extra blackjack medals because I love using him in safeguard. And I had built up, I think, somewhere around 300 crypto keys. And I decided to do an opening. And this is the stuff that I got from it. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it was decent stuff, but whatever. So, as always, you guys, if you like that video, hit that thumbs up button because it does help my channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about everything. And if you're new here, subscribe because I'm here every day.